You're watching Daily Dish. Welcome back to The Daily Dish. Celebrate kindness here in the Beehive State today. Joining me now for the sponsored interview is Kazro Semnani, founder of One Kind Act a Day, a project by the Semnani Family Foundation. Welcome. Thank you, Soray. Happy to be here with you. I love this topic because kindness can be contagious. Tell us why. Well, you just have to experience it. I don't know. I'm not that. Uh, I'm not a psychologist, but I know myself when I, I'm kind to somebody, I always hear that, that person goes and is kind to somebody else and that just, just goes bigger and bigger and bigger. And I, I truly believe that, uh, you know, uh, we all are, as a civilized people, we are kind to each other. But when we do it intentionally, it's a lot better. It is just a lot more beneficial to everybody in the community. Beneficial to everyone, and yet we don't always tap into the kindness every day. But we can, right? We just have to be conscious of it. That's why we think if we put up s signs and we have to advertise, have this opportunity to talk with you mm. and promote that, once people are consciously aware of it, then once they do it, then tomorrow they're going to do two, two kinds act, three kinds act, and you're just going to get, and it becomes a habit. I, 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 um, um, I, I'm sure of that. <laughs> you know, of all the projects that you have put yourself behind, why kindness that you put your money and heart behind this word, kindness? A wonderful question. Thank you for asking that. I think uh, that's a conclusion I got to about two years ago. That I said, you know, we can we can deal with the symptoms of the problems on a daily uh, basis. If it's a hospital, if it's a charity of uh, orphanage, if it's uh, hunger, whatever it is. But once you promote kindness, there's a magic, and there is a there is something happens that everybody can do. And some of those things that we deal with those issues that we are dealing on as a, as a foundation, charitable foundation, they are taken care of by themselves. I mean, this, uh, the, the flooding that we have this morning, I know of people, I know of people that are out there that are helping right now. It's just a matter of kindness. They don't, it's just the fact that they want to help their neighbors. That's what I'm talking about. And those, if kindness is promoted, if kindness is out there, a lot of the problems will be taken care of automatically. I probably don't even be there if families are kind to each other, if business people are kind to each other, a lot of good happens out there. Kindness is so simple, and I love how you said it's magic. It is magic. It's magic when you see it and you know it, you identify with it, and when you do it, what does that do to you? It's very self-fulfilling. It makes you feel better about yourself, about the world around you, and uh, the rewards are literally unlimited. People say, if you're, they say, in kindness, it's a, it's a giver who receives the most. And you yeah. think about it, you think about it. We just, I don't want to sound selfish, but when you are kind to somebody else, it makes you feel better so you can do more and more kindness to others. Cosro, we only have a few seconds, but you are encouraging people out there today, right this second, to take the Pledge of Kindness. Where do they have to go to take that pledge? They go to the Power of Kind, Dot org. That's where you can get all of the information and keep in touch and we provide you with all kind of signs and things that you might need to promote that in your neighborhood, in your own house and you're with your friends. Cosro, thank you. Thank you for kindness as well and sharing that message. All that information on our screen and as well as on our website. And thanks again to Kind Act A Day, a project by the Semnani Family Foundation for sponsoring this interview. Thank you, Saray. And speaking of kindness, ABC4 Sarah Murphy is celebrating kind acts every Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. on Good Morning Utah and tonight at 6 p.m. Be sure to tune in to see what good things, inspiring things are happening in our state.